I made a post on the Nitro Wiki asking what people would want to add to Nitro Type or Nitro Math. The options were as follows. More achievements, more player communication, more shop items, more frequent seasons, banning botters slash cheaters, or event on top of seasons. Now, in this video, we are going to go further in depth in these and we're going to be reading some of the replies. So more achievements, as you can see here, was most voted for by these people. More player communication was fourth place, or I guess third, because these two were equal, banning botters and events on top of seasons. And then more frequent seasons and more shop items were only voted for by one person. Now, what did I mean with all of these? Obviously, more achievements means new achievements on Nitro Type and on Nitro Math achievements, period. More player communication is just things like more news posts, updating the updates page, things that the player can not have to leave the website to see. More shop items obviously is just new things in the item shop. The more frequent seasons would be shorter seasons. Personally, I don't really like this one as much. I wouldn't, I mean, I finished the season pretty fast, but I don't think more frequent seasons is a good idea. Banning of waters and cheaters, I don't care much about this one because I'm not a very competitive player on Nitro-Type and Nitro-Math, so this one doesn't really affect me. However, I know it would be good for the community if they were banned. And then events on top of seasons, I'm a big advocate for because I used to play when events were in the game, and they were really fun, really awesome. I just think events on top of seasons would be cool, especially like the Nitro Pack event when that happened, the Olympics, stuff like that. So, my first comment was saying that they should update the updates page because honestly, if we look at it, it hasn't been updated since like October of 2022, and we're already in January, almost February of 2023. Now, this right here... Scooper says it's not a main tab. He has a point. It's not really a main tab. People don't like people don't look at it often. I think it's just really an easy way to like update, a really easy way for players to see it and update it. Now, as you can see here, Sega says that everything Nitro Tech needs. However, he chooses achievements. He would love to see more Nitro Math exclusive items. Seasons should be the same. Yes, I agree. And also just as long as events. And I don't believe there should I don't believe, yeah, there's not a current Nitro Math bot. We need to ban Nitro Type botters and more shop items is good for both Nitro Type and Nitro Math. This person says everything except for frequent seasons, more frequent seasons. I think the one and a half to two and a half, sometimes three months are good. Then certain stuff, botters and cheaters doesn't affect gameplay. Yes, scooper. Quicker seasons aren't that special. Obviously, yes. New seasons are the vehicles and the platforms decoration. I do like the platform decoration like the background especially when we had the background for the christmas theme the only thing i would say to that is like i didn't like how it was like half the screen like i wanted like a full background personally i think it'd just be better and um then stuff like news posts aren't scooper says new po news posts aren't exciting i really i really wish we had news posts honestly it's so much better then stuff like let's see where'd someone else so it's Alex said, more achievements, no argument, they needed to be added soon. Yes, I agree, she's right, more achievements do need to be added, hopefully they will start soon. More player communication is also really good, because there's honestly not much communication in the game currently, because it's, I don't know, I don't really know, but it just seems that they only make news posts when a new season comes out. And if we go back and look, like used to, they would drop stuff like, you know, implemented the blast doors over the typing area prior to race start, or redid the Jeepers Rubicon to make it HD quality. But now stuff like we don't even get known when a new season starts. Versus back 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 a while ago, we get stuff like Heritage Track Preview begins, or we get stuff that says you know Seaside Rally tra Track or whatever. And even back back you know back then we can see that sometimes they even had you know things that said new season release, launch new season rewards page, or so I don't. I don't really know why they don't update this constantly. Like, the October 2021 is different than the October 2022. It's abbreviated. And there's so much stuff that's happened. I just really wish they would update stuff. Like, they didn't even put that Nitro Math Beta is now out to all players. Not even on there. So back to the post. As you can see, Oreo says it's tied between botters and cheaters and achievements. If you had achievements, there's a good chance that ones will be that will be more difficult to attain, could be cheated, which is very true. And it would devalue the achievements. Additionally, it's not Nitro Type's top priority to fix the cheaters. True, definitely a tie. Both options are great. 
And then seeing achievements added to Nitro Bath would be really cool. It would give you an incentive, something to work towards, other than the, just the top racer and the t team leaderboard badge and the stats. And then v VL says that I don't know how they could add more frequent seasons. Obviously, I don't really want them to add more seasons. Events would be interesting, although I don't know if Nitro Set would do them. And then more player communication would be nice, but his personal vote goes to more achievements. And then more people say they don't want more seasons, more player communication equals news posts. Yes, I really want news posts more. And the general says all the above except more frequent seasons. They do it pretty good with that already. So if we check out Nitro Math, pretty much what I would say is having new stuff in the shop would be really awesome. I really want that to happen. But seasons are already pretty good as they already are. However, an event, if you've seen my 12 Days of Nitro event, you will know that it's something on top of Seasons that's available to all players and just encourages people to play the game. So I think, I think that would be really cool. Small, tiny updates that I would recommend would be something like maybe changing the friends count to maybe being able to have, you know, 2,000 friends for gold members. Because currently in the code, it's set to 1,000 for gold members and 1,000 for normal people. I just, I don't know, I just wish things were more benefits for gold members, more gold member benefits. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reposting this thread right here. And I'm going to put all the same stuff except for the lowest. So I'm going to put this, 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 and this, these four. And I'm going to add one, which is going to be more gold member benefits. And then we're going to do the same poll and see what we get. And then the top three, I guess, of that one will move on to the next one. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll be back. So, as you can see, this is the updated version of the poll. We have more achievements, more player communication, banning botters, cheaters, events on top of seasons, and more gold member benefits. Now, obviously, all of these are really good to the game, especially more, like all the ones that I did, even in the last poll. But I'm doing the ones that were most voted for in the last one. So, by the time you're seeing this video, this poll will have been up for about two days, maybe one day. So... I'll leave the link in the description for this poll if you want to come and vote in this poll. And if you want to vote in the last poll, you can do that too. However, the last one not really is important anymore. And I'm going to continue doing this until we get down to one winner of what people think would be the number one. Now, as you can see, I voted for more gold member benefits because I just think, especially when we're now paying $20 a year, the amount of cars we get per season that are gold exclusive, if we go to important features and we go to seasons, We'll see that this season, let's go to this season right now. So if we go to, okay, well, season 45 hasn't been added here. All right, well, that, that's a problem. Anyway, if we go to season 45 right here, we will see that the amount of gold member cars are two. Two gold member cars. Now, assuming we get four to five seasons a, a, a year, that's getting us about anywhere between eight to ten gold cars. Just be nice, let's say we get 11 to 12 gold cars. So we get 11 to 12 exclusive cars for $20. So we're paying $2 a car, pretty much, in real life money. Now there are some other benefits that we do get. We get no ads, obviously, no ads here. And we get the smooth design and the ability to send cash. But other than that, there's not many benefits of being gold. Other than getting more cash, we get, we get more cash, we get more trails. So in the end, we're paying about a dollar per item every year because there's not that much gold exclusive things. So personally, that's the reason I put what I did. That's the reason I said that I would prefer more gold exclusive things, not to take away from other players, but to add on to gold. So I don't want them to reduce the friend limit for normal people to be 500 friends. I just want them to increase the limit of gold members to be 1,000 friends. And in the bootstrap for Nitro Type and Nitro Math, there already is a difference between gold member and normal people friends. There's a difference. It's set to 1,000 for both. However, there are two different lines of code, one for each. So it could be a simple update that would change that. So that's personally why I think that that should be updated. That's personally why I voted for the more gold member benefits, because honestly, like, more communication is nice. More achievements is, would be really, really nice. Banning bothers and cheaters, I don't care much about. Events on top of seasons would be nice. But having an incentive to buy gold would not only be nice for the players, but also it would benefit, you know, Nitro Math and Nitro Type because more people would be spending money on their game. So that is my Add to Nitro Type Nitro Math series. Let me, let me know what you guys think. 
check out the pinned comment or the description wherever I put that link. And you can come vote on this poll if you're on the wiki, which if you're not, you should be on the wiki. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I will see you in my next video.